hello guys this is pawan from ambidotronics so today in this video tutorial i will uh, tell you about how we can basically work on arduino programming using uh, visual studio code and uh, we will use the platform io extension for that so uh, traditionally uh, we, we 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 have seen like we can work on uh, arduino using arduino ide so here uh, this is arduino ide we can easily run run and set up our code uh, in this arduino ide we all know that uh, but uh, sometimes you know uh, we require some additional features of any ide which uh, uh, arduino ide couldn't able to give like multiple files uh, sometimes we want to open or something like directly jump to that function and uh, managing the uh, function and files and uh, basically workspace is easier uh, in uh, uh, some ids and that id i'll tell you visual studio is very uh, uh, contains very strong features on that so okay so we will uh, just directly uh, jump to our uh, things uh, how we can uh, get getting how can we get started things on visual studio code so for that uh, you need to just uh, uh, go to uh, uh, your uh, uh, Google and you have to download Visual Studio uh, code. And here uh, you just need to click on the first uh, link. And here uh, you will see uh, there are uh, three things like for uh, Linux and Mac and for Windows. So depending upon your operating system, you just choose your uh, platform uh, so i'm having windows so i'll just click on this windows and here uh, downloaded uh, is already begin uh, now we will just click on this and we will just double click on this and we'll start install installation of this visual studio so i'll just click on this i accept the agreement i'll click on next and by default it will uh, take this path i'll just again click on next next and uh, if you want to create an extra icon you can uh, click here I'm, I'm just not clicking here okay next install okay so it's uh, just preparing to install so uh, within a couple of minutes only it will uh, just get installed so we'll wait for that that, that time uh, it's about to finish okay so finish yeah uh, so now we will just uh, it's already take like launch visual studio code we'll click on finish and here uh, we will see uh, our uh, welcome screen and uh, i'll just open one uh, new visual studio window and here we will just uh, do one thing uh what we will do here we will just uh, uh install the extension uh, in which we will uh, run our arduino framework so for extension part you have to uh, select this thing this icon so this is the icon for extension so click on this and here we will just uh, uh, write platform I O I D E. Okay, so the first uh, search uh, we will click, and uh, yes, this alien icon, this icon, this this thing uh, you will get, and we need to click on this install button, and uh, here this installation uh, process uh, has begun. Um, okay, uh, so now oh, we have platform I O installed. Here you can see, uh, if you will see here, install, it means it is successfully installed. Uh, now what we need to do, we need to just uh, uh, click on this uh, uh, platform icon itself. And here uh, we will uh, see some quick access of platform IO. So let it initialize first. So here you can see the release notes of platform IO. So initializing platform IO core. Okay, so we'll wait for that. Uh, I'll just uh, pause the video for the for a while. 
सो इट इज स्टिल इनिशलाइजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म आई ओ कोर सो लेट्स वेट सो हियर यू कैन सी द प्रोसेस बेसिकली प्लेटफॉर्म आई इंस्टॉल आर इंस्टॉलिंग प्लेटफॉर्म आई ओ कोर सो अगेन वील जस्ट फास्ट फॉरवर्ड दिस वीडियो so its uh, uh, installation has been completed so we'll reload now we'll click on reload and here you can see now uh, there is no data provider initializing platform io core here you can see now this is the pio home platform io home and here we we can you can see open pio account inspect boards platform devices these things are there so we will just click on open uh we will directly click on this new project uh, for uh, creating a project so give it a name let's say uh, test and uh, here uh, we have to select the right board i am using arduino uno so uh, let's select arduino uno so this is the board and framework is arduino only uh, now we will just click on finish so depending upon the uh, the the board and the your computer uh, network network speed it will again take some time here so uh, uh, i think it will take uh, around 4 to 5 minutes to complete this setup thing so this whole process will be com uh, completed after that you can directly uh, code on this uh, platform uh, this vs code using platform io id so i'll just uh, again fast forward this process okay so it is still uh, it is uh, installing so it's finished here you can see uh, this uh, test a workspace uh, is created and here in this uh, our src lib include dot vs code dot pio folders uh, has been created now i'll just click on this src and this main dot cpp here you can see uh, this uh, the same thing uh, kind of thing which we just generally see like in my function this is normal function function declaration and then this is the void setup and here this is the loop and this is the function definition so uh, this is just uh, they um, just uh, for uh, from platform io they just uh, give some initial setup kind of thing uh, one uh, small example snippet kind of thing uh, which uh, just look like looks like arduino uh, here so we will just change uh, things and we will just blink our led in this case so what i'll do i'll just click in in setup part we will just write directly pin mode uh here we can uh, directly click on tab pin mode and uh, 13th pin we have led is there in built and 13 comma uh, we have to make that pin as output so we we'll click output so these type of suggestion you will not uh, see in arduino ide so this is very helpful uh, in debugging also so this is the reason we just generally goes uh, with this uh, id uh, vs code id now in the loop part what will we do we'll uh, write uh, digital write and here we can say hi comma uh sorry uh, uh it it will be 13 comma hi so 13 comma hi and same way we will say uh uh 
13 comma low and uh, in between that we will just give delay of 1000 millisecond okay so loop is completed and we will just remove this thing we'll remove this function as well here you can see uh, apart from the Arduino IDE one difference you just see here uh, one included is also there which is uh, Arduino.h this is just the C++ things uh, you can see uh, because all the all the things are written in the CPB basically in Arduino library so we have to include this Arduino.h if you'll go here this Arduino.h all the definitions of uh, those internal thing will be written here so we'll, okay I'll just go to main.cpp and now we will just uh, save it and uh, we will uh, we will what will we do we will just uh, here uh, in the bottom uh, left corner you can see uh, these uh, icons are there this uh, tick icon is for build and this uh, arrow icon is for upload so uh, this either you can use directly shortcut or also, also you can go to platform io icon and here from here you can build and uh, and throw from this second icon you can upload so build and then see make the we have to click this um okay no, no need to click this it is building it itself so it is compiling uh, each and every object file is it is creating okay so now here you can also see how much ram is used how much flash is used so this way you can see all the things details here now i'll just click um, you know, the upload icon platform io uh, by default my my, my esp idf is also the, uh, enabled here so esp32 is also showing but in your case it will not show so we'll just uh, directly click on this upload icon upload and here it will uh, automatically detect our com port okay uh, i just forgot to uh, uh, connect my uh, um, basically arduino board so let me just connect my arduino board now it is auto detected and we got success here you can see auto detected uh, com6 so uh, i hope uh, you like this tutorial and uh, uh, you you can also uh, directly see a serial monitor here uh, for serial monitor also i'll just like serial uh, dot begin uh, let's say 115200 and here in the loop serial dot print ln and we will write uh, uh, output anything you can write simply ln I already have given so no need to give slash n okay so uh, this thing uh, I'll just uh, uh, compile and upload so here uh, using this tick uh, uh, icon I'm just I'm compiling and, and this arrow I'm just building okay so successfully uh, chip is flashed uh, now if uh, we, may, we want to see our output so we need to just check uh, the check the com port so here i think console would be somewhere uh, this serial monitor yeah this one so we we'll just uh, reset the device
uh, let me change the baud rate Uh, so I have changed the bot rate basically uh, I just need to look uh, why in 115200 that bot rate it's not showing but you can see output it is printing and uh, my LEDs uh, on my board is also blinking I hope you like this this tutorial uh, if you have any doubt regarding this uh, feel free to comment us below Thank you guys, thank you very much.